The aim of this project is to determine the conditions that would ensure the viability of a honeybee apiary in a northern region in order to meet the increasing pollination needs of the North Shore's berry industry. Honeybees represent only a small fraction of the approximately 20,000 species of bees. Two species of honeybee are often maintained, fed and transported by beekeepers. Beekeepers often have their own ideas on how to protect the bees during the winter months. As far as the temperature goes, they can cope with most any temperature that, that's you know, normal to hear uh, and, and they, in their cluster, as long as it doesn't stay cold too long. If it stays cold too long and they can't move a couple of three inches one way or the other to get some new honey, then they'll starve. And usually the way that the temperatures goes, that doesn't happen too often, but it does once in a while. You pick an area that has a good air drainage and a good protection from the north. I mean, a lot of big evergreen trees and stuff, or some people put up a fence or whatever. This project in the north has been running for a while and is in fact nearing completion. Here you can see a worker bee, a pollen pellet clearly visible on one of its legs. Getting the bees back into a hive can be an interesting challenge. Blueberry and cranberry production is on the rise in northern Quebec, as well as northern New Brunswick. Establishing peatlands for cloudberry production is planned in the Strategic Berry Development Plan of northern Quebec, as well as northern maritime agriculture. The use of honeybees for pollination is significantly increasing the performance and quality of fruits produced. Older people that has bees, there's not a lot of younger people starting and the biggest problem with that is that it uh, requires a, a whole lot of money to get to build up a, a good apiary because you have to buy all the uh, buy or build all this equipment, and it's not cheap to do. It's expensive, and uh, I think that deters a lot of young people. Uh, plus the fact that I think that there should be a program for young people to start to learn about bees. 